TG Omari to collect 10% royalty for shooting music videos. Nigerian music video director and cinematographer, uh, thank God, uh, Omar, that is Stangor Omori, yeah. popularly known as C.G. Omori, has come to air his opinion about what he intends to do in future as regards his craft. C.G. Omori, who doesn't shy away from speaking his mind, took to Twitter to state that he might start charging a 10% royalty on the video he shoots as he hopes to use the proceeds to fund his planned expensive lifestyle. He tweeted, in due time, music video directors will be getting at least 10% royalties from the streaming income of every music video directed for their moral contribution to the visuals. With this, I can successfully buy my dream island and private jets. Hmm. That tweet has since packed a conversation online with divided opinions. We'll definitely, you know, <laughs> be keeping a tab on this subject to see how it will pan out. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so um, I don't think it's out of place, no. right, to want to have a certain percentage for something that you have creative input in. I mean, it's done in every other industry, even producers. Yeah. You go to a producer to make a, a, a song for you, for of instance. Course. You will pay him for a service of making the song, but he has royalties in the song afterwards as well. Um, he has credits as well. That's why when they're giving awards, they'll give everybody that is involved in it, you know. Yeah. Even in movies as well, mm -hmm. royalties to the actors, even after you've paid them for the role, they still have yep. royalties. So it's not out of place. But now the thing is, you're already charging outrageous mm -hmm. for shooting a video. It's uh, the prices are incredible. But we see, we see the product, and we're like, yes, okay, we can see the money inside the video. It makes sense. So it's just for him to up his game. You know, at the end of the day. Um, when you put it on YouTube, for instance, you get your money from YouTube and of you know course. that, okay, certain, there's what they call the, um, the, sh the spreadsheet um, where everybody, everybody has, has the royalties and everything, 10% is there. It's, 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 it's understandable, you know, but um, at the end of the day, he's, he's moving. I like the competition. I like what is happening in the music video industry as well because that's another creative aspect. And I, I'm not... He could do all right. The thing, <laughs> the thing with uh, T.J. Amori is he is not scared to say how he feels. Of course, of course. And it will always come out to air his opinion. Mm -hmm. And he's always trying to change things. Because it feels like if this is the norm and I'm not okay with it, then I'm not okay with it. So you have to do something about it. Remember for the South City MVP Awards when he mm -hmm. came out to say, oh, music directors, should video directors should be the ones getting a particular award. He made that mm -hmm. correction and it was taken. But now with this one, uh, I don't know. I just, I feel like he's looking more at his long term. Like, what am I getting long term? Instead of you just paying me. So I believe he's planning for the future because we have so many people that people have even forgotten that, oh, this was the person that produced this record. But every time we hear the record, we remember the owner of the song and the people that were featured. And these people are still getting their royalties behind the scenes. So I feel like it will be a good one if that happens. And if he can reduce his money, Sha, before people choke. Uh, <laughs> Honey foot. <laughs> free your mind, free your mind. I actually totally uh, agree with um, everything j -Pop said. You know, um, I, I think that, yeah. I mean, as he said, I'm not going to start reiterating. But, of course, everything he said, because at some point... Um, you don't want to, like the artist will be enjoying, mm. and then you who had an impact mm. in the, you're not, like you've gotten money once, and mm. that is it. I get it. But then you touched on, his money is already, uh, like. Outrageous. Yeah, so I wanted to say something real quick. So you're already, how this works is that you as the production outfit, the T.J. Omori production outfit, you have your equipment and the rest. Now, most of these monies for the video, when you see the price, $135, $150,000, all that stuff, is, is, when you start to break it down, you see the breakdown. They are, buy, they are renting equipment there. They are doing all that stuff. So if you want royalties, then you're telling me that you're bringing your resources 
you get then i'm paying for the basic things maybe logistics i'm paying for this i'm paying for that exactly. the necessary stuff so that means the price has to come, come down, down like small. i said reduce it yeah it's, it's bargain yeah what do you call it bargain, it's a bargain yeah. so it has to come small yeah. and then we'll now say okay you're getting this percentage over time because that's the money it's an, an investment yeah you know at the end of the day yeah.